I come from one part of the world which is technically called the third world. I lived part of my adult life in what is the first world. I was born and raised in, uh, in Delhi, India, and uh, did my undergrad in English literature there, and then I went to film school to the United States, uh, to Los Angeles, and uh, I've been there for a while now. And then from the US I came back to India to make my first film. So I now straddle these two worlds and it's, it's fantastic for me because when we take what makes us locally and we mix it with whatever we've pulled, what we pull, bring together is something new and that's fantastic creatively. So, so that really is uh, what I think what I was talking about. I worked in advertising as a copywriter and uh, for, for a long while while I was writing uh, when I got home. So literally the whole getting back and writing from midnight to three in the morning for years until uh, you, you try and sort of break through. So I did that for a long time, did some, uh, wrote some screenplays, adapted a novel. Again, projects would go through, get to a point and not sort of go beyond that. So at some point I said, okay, how, what do I do? What can I do to take charge of my own filmmaking career? So I picked up a script that I had, which was Delhi Belly, and said, okay, now I'm gonna rewrite this and get this to a point where I can try and raise money for it independently. So that was a little bit of time and then, so it was, it was a good plan as plans go. <laughs> but because whenever I went to Indian producers, they said, this is not an Indian film and what is all this going on? This, this, we, we don't know how to, how to push it out there. From now on, mommy, daddy. I'm getting married. Really, I thought this wasn't happening until like next year. Yeah, but then I thought, what difference? Sooner the better. Right up till the moment they chop his head off, the goat thinks he's going for a walk in the park. You met my friend Nitin, the serial rapist? Hero! Yes, Shadi, Nayo Sakti! This girl has given me blowjob! 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 And not very many producers in the rest of the world are interested in doing a film which is completely Indian. For them, it was too Indian. And for the Indian, it, it wasn't Indian enough. So I was kind of stuck in the middle. Uh, but I got fortunate because uh, a really big Indian star, Amir Khan, was one of the biggest stars in Bollywood, uh, read the script, fell in love with it, and he said, just pull this script from everywhere, I'm producing it. Who's the asshole? My husband. Film is something that actually subsumes so many different disciplines into itself. So there's, when you talk about the power of film, you're talking about the power of writing, you're talking about the power of music, you're talking the power of visuals and, you know, literally photographs, and cinematography, and you're talking about the power of performance. And when you begin to relate to a character on screen that you feel is you, I mean, that connection is so powerful. I mean, in some ways, novels kind of approximate that, but Films have so many other tools at their disposal. And that's, I think, that's why I think it's so powerful. And the most amazing thing I think about film is that it's a shared experience. I think more and more people just watch film on DVDs at home, they shouldn't. Because you'll notice when you're watching a film by yourself, a funny film by yourself, you probably laugh less than when you're in a theater with a group of people. And when in a dark room people start laughing, your laughter is louder. You, you're connected with everyone there in a dark, you're sharing something, and it becomes such sort of a, a tribal experience in a sense. That's what sort of raises it. Design can change uh, habits, the way people live their lives, the way they uh, interact with the city, with their environment. So certainly that is really powerful stuff. I mean, how do you begin to change the way people organize their day? And uh, I guess that's what geniuses, that's what great designers do when they, when they actually do cross, cross those limits.